Our quiz for today involves an AC power supply. We've got a knife switch, two incandescent light bulbs, and a coil. And I don't know if you can see, this coil has very thick wire, very little resistance. It's a beautiful coil. Our question is, when I throw the knife switch, what's going to happen? Now, notice this bulb is in line with the coil. This other light bulb goes directly to our neutral. That's what your quiz looks like. As always, mark your thoughts down and then list your confidence. Typical student responses are that the bulbs will flash on and off, on and off. Not individually, but this bulb will flash on, this bulb will flash off. They think that because of alternating current and they say that the current alternates back and forth. So many of them will say they're alternating between the bulbs. Others will say one of the bulbs will get brighter because there's a coil. Coils make things brighter. And others will say, well, I wonder if one is going to be dimmer than the other. So those are the typical responses that we get. All right, when we conduct the experiment and throw the knife switch, we see one of the bulbs is lit up, the other one is not at all. But maybe that's because one of the bulbs is burned out. Let's simply switch the leads flip them. So this one's going to be over with the coil and the other one will not be. Now I do it again and you see only one bulb lights up. So what's going on here? It clearly isn't a resistance problem because this coil has very thick wire, almost no resistance at all. But what a coil does have is magnetic field. And if you could see magnetic fields growing here, uh, you would know that they take a little bit of time to grow. But with alternating current, as soon as they start to grow one way, they have to switch and try and grow the other way. In fact, this process is trying to happen every 60th of a second, and uh, this essentially is going to choke things out. So a big coil like this can be thought of as a choke. On AC, you can literally choke out your current. And I happen to really like this uh, small inductor, and it literally is called a choke. And this one is a really great one. It's a 0.7 Henry choke. So on AC, coils can inhibit your current. And it's not the same thing as resistance. We could call it inductive reactance. And that's going to be part of our impedance. So that's your quiz for today. Thank you for watching another Idealized Science Institute video. We are a nonprofit organization. If you like what you've seen, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want, leave a comment below. It's helpful to us. If you can financially support us, go to our website and hit the donate button. If you can't, simply by sharing these videos with other teachers and students in your life will be helpful. While at our website, you'll find that we have our Idealized Science Institute book that'll help you engage your students in dialogic discourse. There you'll also find we have a podcast where we break down educational research. We also have long form lessons if you're a teacher, you can watch these and go in the very next day and enact these. Along with this, we also have many other resources, including more quick quizzes. So thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.